In terms of growing talent, this is probably the best I've ever seen from a Moroccan under 23 transitioning into a bigger stage in Europe. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to talk about or at least give some form of recognition that I've noticed from our under 23 players and seeing how they're slowly trying to pave the way from just playing in average clubs to trying to test themselves in bigger European clubs. But before I go ahead and begin this video, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does always help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. With the Olympics not that far away, we yet again as fans get to see our Moroccan under 23 players compete at the highest stage. It's going to be a good test and it will uh, yet again create great exposures for our players. But the thing is that exposures in terms of how well we've seen these players perform has actually been something that I haven't seen in a while. Well, let me explain. So in the past, we've seen, you know, the Moroccan under 23, whether they have good performance or bad performance. I think the best one I can remember today was definitely that 2011, 2012, when they went on to make the Olympic. And though when you look back at it, a lot of the players that were in that squad list never actually did anything huge or grand maybe like one or two player while the rest faded into obscurity but now with this newer generation of under 23 player seems different it doesn't take much when you look back at this previous season and see how a lot of those uh, players who were winners of the recent under 23 AFCON see how well it translated for their season such as Chatty Reed we could start with him he was a player that back at that AFCON tournament many were kind of doubting whether he should even be a starting player for the under 23 and the coach at the time really hesitated to the point where he, I think he only played a couple matches and you know what he took that to heart because he would then go and have a superb season with Real Betis and granted it was his first full official senior season with Real Betis no he didn't get stuck with the under 23s or the youth category Real Betis he was playing with men that were twice his age and to think that he finished the whole season and I believe was just one yellow card shows how well of a defender he's grown to the point where he's now made a transition to the senior national team and that is the same with like the likes of Amir Richardson, Usama El Azuzi to name a few they've all left their landmark but of course we have to continue giving uh, props to the other one that really you know a lot of people were definitely keeping a close eye on but weren't sure how they were going to perform like Hamza Igaman you know he started off the under 23 AFCON well uh, until he got that unfortunate injury but once he came back to his local club he was ramping up goals and definitely you know his hard work paid off because he now secured a move to Rangers FC think about it you know back then not you didn't really hear about a lot of Moroccan players making the move from Morocco all the way to Europe I mean every now and then you would get the occasional players but this time it feels like there's definitely something different about it and the same could be said about Mohamed Jouab who is another player who came from Morocco and though he wasn't present at the under 23 AFCON he has made a case that he could actually be a future reliable player for the Moroccan national team and if I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure he didn't make the cut yeah he didn't make the cut for the under 23 Olympic but you got to think that he's already one that is making his mark with the under 23 and though I believe it was that his club didn't let him join granted that he just finished having a superb season with Amins down in League 2 to the point where Renz 
the club that originally bought them but then sold them to Amins ha wanted to tri actually trigger back his buyback clause because they realized that they just let go of a future gem and it would be ridiculous not to bring him back in. So it will be interesting to see how he develops as a player. He is one uh, right next to Amina who I feel will be the two next big stars to come out of Morocco. Of course, there's are some from the under 17 that are making their way across Europe. But right now, I just want to give some more, I guess, focus on the under 23. And of course, you got to think of like Amin El Ouzani, who I think in my mind, him compared Ashley, him and Hamza Igaman are making huge cases for being potential future strikers for our senior national team. I've talked about in the past that the striker position has always been one where we seem to struggle a lot. We never seem to have a good finding or players that we can integrate or ones that can stay consistent on a good basis with the national team. Well, Hamza Igaman and Amin Il Uzani are still young. They have a lot of time to grow chemistry. And the good thing about it is, you think about like Amir Richardson, Chadi Ria, Abde El Ezalzuli, Bilal El Canoes, Ilias Akomak, and the list goes on and on. They have already played together at the under 23. And this is what I love most about this new generation that we will see in the future is that because all these players have been getting accustomed to playing with each other, the transition to the senior national team isn't going to be so scary and isn't going to take time for each player to fully be able to adjust to each other because Igamane and and El Uzani already have that chemistry. So you could easily put them into the starting 11 for the senior national team. And I can guarantee you with all the young players around them, they should easily click. But going back to El Uzani, another player who played similar to Joab in League 2, had a superb season, was a star during the under 23 FCON, and now secured a move to Braga down in Portugal and the best part is he's already played two games during the preseason for Braga and has already scored two goals showing us that these players are testing themselves to the highest limits honestly I can't need to preface that compared to any under 23 players that we've seen in the past this crop of under 23 players that we've seen since that under 23 AFCON, I'm going to say it now, this is by far the most talented players. You know, before then, I would have said maybe one or two at the 2020, 2012, you know, Olympics. They maybe one or two made it out. But here you can make the case that a lot of these players are going to go out to have successful career even um let's see i know there's a few more like who he drew who recently secured a move to psv so it just shows that a lot of these players are growing and could potentially take one step closer to playing to elite level football but of course even with that you got to think that with this olympic you still have some players that are playing great but they aren't getting the recognition and i think that if this olympic tournament goes well for morocco then i think we can see more of our common under 23 player and even some of the new under 23 players that made the list for the olympic make that move into some of europe's elite like i know there's some that I kind of want to see more from like Benjamin Bushwari who I think is completely underrated and not just underrated overlooked by a lot of Europe's elite I know last season I think it was a club from the Czech Republic or Bulgaria that was looking to bring him in but that club was playing European football at the time so I don't know why Bushwari didn't take it maybe he wanted to go to an actual more competitive league and for that it is you know totally acceptable 
but I think recently Girona was looking at him and Girona granted they finished third in La Liga le next season now the rumors around them has slowly died down but I think if Bushuari has a great tournament oh yeah his name it's going to be easily on top of the most scouted by many clubs him osama targalin and i know as well as osama elizuzi and granted yes i know that he just recently moved to italian club bologna but if this tournament can do anything is to give a lot of players a chance to show their respective coaches that hey i am good enough to compete in first team football with some of these great players and of course, we can't leave out some of these Moroccan-based players that are playing in the Batola League. Now, I know if for people who watched my last video, I might it might have looked like I was just dissing or taking shots at all these players that were brought in from the Batola League to compete in the under 23. But at first, it has to be noted that we are missing a lot of our you know important players due to situations that are out of the coach's hand and second you know this can be a great opportunity for those players to get recognized am i gonna say that similar to the other players they might get a move quickly to some of europe's elite maybe i don't want to say yes or no but it can help them ultimately secure a move to Europe and that is essentially what this tournament needs to be it needs to be for two things one putting up a great performance and helping Morocco advance as far as they possibly can throughout this tournament and two making sure that the spotlight is on every player performing for Morocco because in the end we want to build a huge a pool of talented player for the future so that way we don't need to worry about where our next winger or defender or right back you know you get the point the main goal is to ultimately have this tournament be as successful in these two categories and that way morocco can have a prosperous future going forward and competing so there you have it these are my overall thoughts about how i feel the moroccan under 23 has been growing compared to all the other years that i've seen them play in the past honestly as mentioned this is probably the best young talented group that i've seen in a while and it's already paying off as mentioned i'm telling that a lot of these young players are already securing moves to bigger teams so it's definitely showing that the drive is there for want to compete in the biggest clubs so that way in return they make a case to be in the senior national team and you got to think the senior national team itself already seems to be getting more and more stacked every day and just having all these young players wanting to continue to play in some of europe's biggest team it's only going to help make our national team stronger but of course i would love to hear your thoughts and opinion what do you think about this rising under 23 squad? Are you happy with it? Do you think there is more to come? Of course, there's also that offset that, you know, we can always just find new young talents that we have yet to even see feature and ultimately convince them to come play with the national team. But of course, just anything that sparks your interest about the under 23 team, I'll love to hear it. But more importantly, I'm just glad you all made it to the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.